When you step inside the Shaoxing Exhibition Center, you'll be met with massive displays of blooming orchids. From February 17th to 19th, more than 2,000 native species from all over China are on show. Orchids are organized based on their color, shape, size, and fragrance, according to judges from the China Flower Association. Chinese people appreciate orchids in an anthropomorphic way. They regard orchids as beauties or gentlemen, and have a set of anthropomorphic aesthetic standards. This year's China Spring Orchid Festival is co-organized by China Media Group, China Flower Association, and the Shaoxing Municipal Government. In addition to the exhibit, a forum is also happening to discuss agricultural transformation and sustainable growth. The orchid industry not only meets the needs of domestic consumers, but also goes out of the world, especially for Southeast Asian countries. They also have a demand for orchids. Shaoxing is renowned as the birthplace of orchids in China. Inspired by the orchids here, Wang Xizhi, a great calligrapher in ancient China, wrote his famous piece, Preface to the Orchid Pavilion Collection. For this year's event, Artists are also invited to help promote the city's profound orchid culture. Why do Chinese people like orchids? Because the flower is humble. You can imagine the big from the small. It's quite alike Chinese people's national character. I also hope my music can show both Shaoxing's old and new, its long history and its modern development. The orchid has a long and storied history, and it only takes one look to understand why. It's pure and elegant. In Chinese art, orchid is known as one of the four gentlemen, a group of plants that include the bamboo, plum, and chrysanthemum. Its significance has made it a city flower of Shaoxing, and there's always more to discover. CMG Mobile, Shaoxing.